Hey everybody, it's Mike again from Subcase, and today we're going to run over a Samsung Galaxy S10 and a Unicorn Beetle Pro. I'm joined here by my faithful sidekick, Jesse, and of course Aaron from Gateway Classic Cars. So we're doing this because every day we get stories from you guys about how your phones have survived the most harrowing stories. From getting run over, falling down an elevator shaft, we've even got a couple stories of people getting shot and surviving thanks to the Unicorn Beetle Pro. And even we don't believe the stories. So that's why we're here today to put it to the test and run over the Samsung Galaxy S10 and its 1930s Ford and see if it could survive. 1933 has a 426 Hemi. So Aaron, you've done a couple of these runovers with us. How do you think that the phone will survive with this car as opposed to the Jeep that we have? Especially with the flames. Yeah. So, uh, flames help to destroy this phone? I'm pretty sure it probably doesn't, but, <laughs> but it makes it look cool while it's going. So what's your bet? Do you think that the phone will survive? Case, yes. Without case, probably not. No way, right? No. What do you think with the case it will? I think so. What do you think, Justin? I think so. Yeah? Well, you never yeah. know with these things. Anything can happen. It's a different vehicle. It's a different animal. So it's going to be an interesting test. It smells like a go-kart. I love it. All right, so before we run over the Samsung Galaxy S10, we're going to run over this OnePlus 5T with no case, just to see what would have happened, and also because we want to see stuff get smashed at the end of the day. All right? Yeah. yeah. See if it works. One, though. See if it works. Show, show the camera. See if it still turns on. Okay. It works. It still works, but this screen is gone. Definitely have a crack across the side. Look you at definitely that. got a lot of spotting. Oh, that just breaks my heart. As damaged it's as it is. It's hot. You feel it? Like it's hot. Well, of course it is. is the that, tires. Is that dangerous? Mm, I would think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not... It also wants to power off. If you look at it, like the back looks totally fine. But the front is the screen, and, and that's really yeah. what the phone's about. Look at I all mean, those cracks. Yeah. You can have a crack on the back, but not the screen. Like that's the that's yeah, the money maker. This phone would not survive if it didn't have the UB Pro on it for sure. You're definitely spending some money fixing it. Yeah. I'll oh, check yeah. out the slow mo. All right. Yep. There's the wheel. Oh! It's like a bag oh. of chips. It's like somebody. Yeah, it, it is. It's like somebody stepped on a bag of chips. So what do we conclude that OnePlus 5T doesn't survive without a UB Pro? Uh, no. No. No, it doesn't. It doesn't survive. <laughs> okay. Ready for the Samsung Galaxy S10? Let's see if it survives with it. This is like a thousand dollar phone. It's twice as much. Okay. More delicate. Ooh. This is a Samsung Galaxy S10. You can see, totally working, brand new out the box. We just put it into a uh, UB Pro, black UB Pro with the kickstand, and it's got a subcase screen protector on it. So it's kind of hard to see with the reflection, but we want you guys to see like this is a brand new, totally working phone. Totally opens, brand new out the box. Screen is fine for now. We'll see what happens when we run it over. All right, moment of truth. Three, two, one, run it over! Okay, come on, the suspense is killing me. Come show, come see, come see. Show the people, Jesse. Did it survive? Is that screen crack? Did it survive? did not. Wait, wait. This is with the screen protector on it. It is. Because of the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, Let's... we had to have a glass screen protector. So this could be just the glass that we're seeing, which is not usual for UB Pro. Usually we have that kind of polycarbonate screen protector. This is a glass screen protector. So my theory is that this glass screen protector took the brunt of all that abuse. Okay. And the phone is fine. Let's see. Let's... I think you may be right. Let's show the people. Peel that off. Look at that. <gasps> oh. Whoa. It did its job. Oh. Subcase screen protector did its job. <laughs> Phone looks totally wow. okay. Wow! Look, works fine. That's a night and day difference. Yeah. Phone is totally okay. And then there's it's the screen good. protector. Look at that screen protector. Wow. With, without. With, without. It survived. It survived, Jesse. Without a scratch? Wow! Literally without a scratch. Nice! Nice job. 
All right. What do we do from here? Uh, run over another one? <laughs> or what we could do is take this car to highway speed and drop the phone out of the window. That's the theory. Oh, you okay? Listen, we don't have uh, workman's comp, so <laughs> this is really low budget right here. All right, so Jesse, what do you think? We're gonna go 60 miles an hour, throw this 60? phone out the window. Yeah, highway speed. I was thinking you were saying like 45, 50. No, screw that. Wow. Let's okay. put the pedals to the metal, throw this thing out the window, and try to break it. Yeah, might as well. And if the UV Pro really is the real deal, it'll survive fine, just like the stories everybody tells us. All right, so Aaron, we're gonna have you get up to highway speed, throw this phone out the window, and then we're gonna see if it still works. All right? Uh, so as you guys can see, foam works totally fine. It's in working order before Aaron goes and chucks it out the window. All right, let's go. All right, so come. He's gonna drop it. Port plug popped out, some scuffs and scratches. Right here, this is really torn up. <laughs> Let's see the screen. I already saw it. Wow. Let's see if it works. Can we see it? Can you give us some coverage, Jesse? Give us some shadow here so we can see the screen. Can you see it, Chong? Look at that. Works totally fine. I can't believe this. This is the first time in Subcase history that we threw a phone out a window. We've run over it, a couple different cars, a couple different phones, survived every time. The stories are true, Jesse. <laughs> if you leave your phone on top of your car and it slides off and gets run over on the highway or you're going highway speeds, your phone's going to be completely fine. Look at that. Can you see us? The ultimate test. It works. It looks good. This thing has been run over. It's been chucked out a window at highway speeds. Totally fine. Thanks to the UV Pro. Thank you, UV Pro. Hey everybody, big thanks to Gateway Classic Cars. They're always great to us. Go check them out. Check out the cars. Amazing selection. For Aaron for doing his job and just having fun running over stuff. Did you get some pleasure out of it? I really did. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> what's the next extreme test you guys want to see next? Comment below and let us know what's the next way that we can test the UV Pro. Of course, like, share the video, subscribe if you guys want to see more. But thanks for watching. Thanks to Gateway Classic Cars. Thanks, Jesse. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time.